that. And then she tried to slap me. Not she tried, she slapped me. And all the craziness in me. Hey, all the folly. Huh? All the anger of the ancestors. They all came out. Me, I think in my previous life, I was a guy. Because I don't know how to fight like ha ha. No, or to scratch your face. I don't know how to do it. I have very flexible legs. Huh? I am like, I, I sometimes feel like Jack Chan. No. Chuck Norris. We are related. Because the kicks were fried. Is that how? In the compound, the kicks were fried. My brother saw that. He came. No, it's two against one. I I beaten them. Hey, I beaten them. My small sister came. Uh, my small sister Miriam came. Now there are three. I'm like, okay, now you are three. Okay, nobody is selling stones to me. I'll go for by then headstones. <laughs> I was picking them. Hey, our grandma. You, yeah how are you doing hope you all fantastic and that 2023 have started being a good year it's me your girl frozen fire baby the pride of africa connecting the world online and this is story time i remember the objective of this channel is to keep you entertained so uh how are we starting new year how is starting the year is that last year one of my friends my number one fan actually requested me to do a story based on a moment or a time me and my siblings fought actually i got a lot of stories about the moments we used to fight some some of the time we were fighting i would say what we are fighting for because i'm gonna tell you stories later so this is for you josie tv i'm doing this story courtesy of josie's courtesy of josie tv he is my number one fan guys he discovered me even before i got to two, 200 subscribers and he has been working with me throughout the journey so he is my number one fan he has been supporting me so this story i'm doing it because of him hey let me drink some water because it's about to go down baby huh? so if you've been following me you know i come from a large family yeah we ate in my family we nine yeah like we grew up nine kids in one in one household so there was this particular time so growing up my family we never used to wear trousers but you know guys i'm this person who love i used to do things i used to love doing things that i knew were prohibited in the household because i grew up in a household of christians where we have to you to tie turbans up to our ears so that we don't hear bad things we had to wear long clothes and go to church so no trousers in our household my grandmother was a christian no trousers no slits in the compound so but i was like mm, the strong head kichuangumu so i i had trousers <laughs> yeah i had trousers but i used to wear them and then wear a dress on top yeah that's how i used to do it so i remember i was in form two uh and this time my mom came to nairobi she came back and she had some clothes with her uh so and there were some trousers for ladies so i took the trousers. it was sexy oh my god it was a hipster so a black one and it used to stretch it was so cute and then i had another one a berry bottom yeah the big ones and i had three trousers so this this one my sister had just completed i'm sorry sis but huh i i have to say it so my elder sister hey <laughs> she wanted the trouser so she had already like done her four 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 like uh four four is like their all level education now in kenya so now she was now a young adult and then she was next in command in the household african house she was next in command in the household so whatever she says goes but 
whatever she says doesn't go when it comes to my trousers and my clothes. Dad, I'm in form two. I'm sweet 16. I need to look good. <laughs> so, my sister, <laughs> my sister, one day she decided to wear my trouser. Because she decided to wear my trouser, I came home. I found her wearing my trouser. Yes. I'm like, why are you wearing my trouser? Who gave you permission to wear my trouser? And she's like, who are you talking to like that? You know now she's now she had done her phone She's now the, <laughs> the second mother in the house. Me, I used to be a bad head. Hey, the work is your buyer. So <laughs> I went to open the door. There was now our house, uh, our house uh, at that time because we relocated. There was a stepping stone, and then you, now you have to open the door. The kuchu 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 african way you understand what i'm saying so i'm there i want to open the kuchu kuchu and then she came because i'm telling her you getting into the house i take off my trouser and she's like who are you talking to like that and then she tried to slap me not she tried she slapped me and all the craziness in me hey <laughs> all the folly huh? all the anger of the ancestors they all came out me, I think in my previous life, I was a guy. Because I don't know how to fight like ha ha. No, or to scratch your face. I don't know how to do it. I have very flexible legs. Huh? I am like, I, I sometimes feel like Jack Chan. No. Chuck Norris. We are related. Because the kicks were fried. Is that how? In the compound, the kicks were fried. My brother saw that. He came. No, it's two against one. I I beaten them. Hey, I beaten them. My small sister came. Uh, my small sister Miriam came. <laughs> now there are three. I'm like, okay, now you are three. Okay, nobody is selling stones to me. I'll go for by then headstones. <laughs> I was picking them. <laughs> hey, our grandmother had it. <laughs> Had the shouting and everything. Now it's three against one. I used to be bad. I used to be bad. Hey, she was like, "Yeah, you have decided. You have decided now. You are a man. You will be fighting here." I'm like, they are all ganging against me, and she's wearing my trouser. My grandmother is like, you're fighting because of a trouser. And then my other cousins, they are there watching. They are there watching, and now. There's this neighbor. She used to be a, a horn bill. Yeah. She came and fi fi found us fighting. And she remember, like, uh, our mom was in the neighboring homestead. She she left our compound. Pa, 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 like the messenger. You see how you see Nigerian's movies? She was like, eh, 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 eh. And she, she's shouting. Uh, in my village, people call my mom, uh, mom to Aidera. Nina Aidera! Nina Aidera! Woo! <laughs> You are here, and your daughter is going to kill your children. <laughs> now my mom came with the neighbors. <laughs> and now my sister, my big sister, because I was overpowering them, they are three against one, because I remember I even took the broom and hit my younger sister. Poo! Because she was not that young. She was in class seven. I was in form two, so she was not that young. There was nobody, there was no kid there. Now it was like a family war. Like, what do we, a family war, like it was now a family thing. I'm beating them. Hey, my sister took a, a machete and she said, I'm gonna to, I'm going to disprint you. I'm like, You are going to disprint me. Did you give birth to me? <laughs> so my mom came at that point. <laughs> you know, you cannot beat your mother. You know, you cannot beat your mother. I was given an international beating. Huh? I was battered. I turned blue guy. I'm telling you the truth, guys. She was like pinching me. The skin was coming out. It's like she was skinning me alive. Actually, I was skinned alive. Huh? I was skinned alive. And even after that, I was like, I'm not going to. I am not going to cry. Because why is she wearing my trousers? Who gives her permission to wear my clothes? Are they her clothes? 
and my mother was like did you buy them <laughs> so the whole neighborhood the whole community knew that my mother was beating me and i was informed too i was supposed to be a grown up i was not supposed to be beaten and then i stood there we had a tree outside the like almost near our house and i was like that i'm not going to get the, into the house and my mom was like now you have grown some breast <laughs> you think we are equal <laughs> if you want to sleep outside sleep outside <sighs> i guess what the worst part is after that my brother you owe me three trousers him and my mother they took my trousers and cut once i remember one one of the trousers the one i used to love the most it was i think they folded it like this and then they took the the scissors and cut it it had a big circle <laughs> at the butt but up to date that the last time me and my siblings fought and i came out being the winner uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I beat them up. I beat them up. <laughs> but for three days, every time I used to go to shower, I would feel pain. Because my mom skinned me alive. So, that is one of the many stories of me and my siblings fighting. Imagine, we were fighting over my trousers. My trousers. My trousers. They owe me three trousers. After this video... After they watch these videos, they, they need to send me a pesa for three trousers. Imagine. Anyway, the whole village got to know I was beaten. And then the following day, that was what was trending. Guys, I, I told you, eh? me, me and myself, I used to trend in the village. Now that was a way of, of me trending. <laughs> like my mother, my mother. Huh? African men, we, <laughs> mothers. So... Josie TV, that is a story for you. That was special for you. That's how we're starting storytelling in 2023. And I'm going to give you four stories, four stories every week. Yeah. Help me, God. So, guys, thank you so much. If you have watched up to this point, make sure to subscribe for more stories. I hope you have enjoyed it. Leave a comment. God bless you. Have a wonderful 2023. And make sure to join this family. Love you.